Hi, uh, this is Jason and this is my daily vlog called Living with CMT. I hope you enjoy. Evening folks, it's Wednesday evening at uh, 20 past 6. It's been a strange kind of day really. Not done a lot in the, you know, in uh, being out or nothing like that. I haven't been out at all. I hope the screen's gone a bit dark. I'll, I'll sort that in a bit. Um, what I have done today is sorted out more emails and for the first time in a few days I've done some writing. Um, I've done about seven or eight pages. I only set out to do about two or three. Uh, the most exciting thing that's happened today is a while ago I bought some jigsaws for do and couldn't find them anywhere in the house. We literally tipped the house upside down and couldn't find them. And luckily today, while Deb's been looking for something, she's actually found them. So I've got some cool jigsaws to do. And as you, anybody who knows me knows I'm mental on jigsaws. I love doing jigsaws. I can't do as many as I used to do, but, you know, I still do my jigsaws, so I'm looking forward to that. I've um, got all sorts of weird and wonderful ones. I've got one that's in the shape of, actually in the shape of Darth Vader. It's a 1,089 pieces or something, but it's actually over a metre in height, which is quite some jigsaw. And apparently there's pieces shaped like Darth Vader and all sorts, really strange shaped pieces. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. I won't be doing that one yet, though, because Deb needs a table. Uh, what it says, what Deb does is, I've told you before, she does card making and crafting. Um, and uh, I'll do a bit more of a video in a bit. Bye for now. Sorry about that little break there. Uh, housework calls and all that. I'm back now though. Um, yeah, like I say, I didn't do a lot at first. Um, Deb's, Deb's got a lot of cards to do. She just had another order for a card off my sister. Because um, it's uh, birthdays coming up left, right and centre. We've got 21sts coming up and... Next year is going to be particularly busy because we've got two 70th birthdays, a uh, 50th wedding anniversary, another 21st birthday and all sorts of stuff going on. It's also mine and Deb's fifth wedding anniversary next year, so uh, that'll be something cool to uh, celebrate. Uh, like I said, I haven't done a lot today. done a lot of writing. done quite a bit of writing. Um, I'm settling down at the moment to watch football. I watched football all last night. I literally watched four matches, taped four matches. It was one of them weird evenings where German and French football was on. And uh, I know it sounds horrible, but I was pleased to see uh, Bayern, uh, Bayern Munich drop points. I didn't think they would against Augsburg, actually, but they did. They dropped points. Um, the first thing I'll start with was uh, my um, surprise at Man United getting knocked out of the cup by Derby County, of all people. But I was pleased. I was pleased for Frank Lampard. Way to go, Frank. Um, I know it went to penalties and anything can happen on penalties and I'm not saying anything really because tonight we've got Chelsea and even though we're at Anfield, Liverpool I don't know if we'll beat them because we've got them again on Saturday in the league away from home so it's going to be a tough four days this one well five days this one, very tough um, new stories today actually there's a few and, and some of them are absolutely thick I mean, you know what's going on in the world, right? You know that there's all these problems going on in the world with pollution and with wars and with famines and with diseases. Now, this is the state of the UK, right? One of the biggest debates that's going on at the moment in the UK is because Meghan Markle, the Duchess of... I can't remember what it was. Sussex, is she Sussex? I know she's Harry's wife, but I can't remember what she's classed as. Anyway, she was filmed closing her own car door. And this has caused a massive debate on social media and the internet and everything. Because apparently, now she's, now she's married to a royal. She's not supposed to do that. And people have been complaining that it's putting people out of a job. This, this is a woman who, you know, who's used to closing doors for herself. She, she's only just got married. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you think that closing a door is going beyond your limits or, or you know, something like that, you, you must be off your chump. I mean, I love what a woman posted. A woman, I don't know who she was, but she actually put a post on earlier on and she says, Do you know, I was so inspired by Meghan Markle closing her own uh, car door that I went out to my house this morning and closed my own front door. And I thought that was brilliant because that just that just shows you the sarcasm. And I think that's funny. I really do think that's funny. That that did make me laugh. That was quite, that was quite amusing today. Um, another thing to do with the UK is, um, obviously, anybody who's anybody knows at the moment the UK is going through Brexit. We're trying to get away from Europe. And I'm all for it. Trust me. If I, if I had to vote a billion times, I would vote to leave Europe every time. I've got nothing against Europeans. It's about the... I just, I just don't like the European Union. I think it's a rip-off. I, I think that they're just literally in it for themselves. It's all about power struggles and all that. And I'm glad when we're out of it. 
But Jeremy Corbyn, who's leader of the Labour Party, has finally come out and said if there was a referendum on the terms of Brexit, he would back it. Now, he is the first politician that's come out and said that. And I think we do need a second vote, not a referendum, a vote. We do need a second vote on to whether we agree with the terms. Because if we've agreed to leave Europe, then we need to agree on the terms. Because if we end up leaving Europe and the terms we don't like, then what is the point? You know, you asked us what we wanted. Ask us again. Show us the terms of Brexit. See if we want to believe what, you know, what, what's in this paper. And then if we say no, then we leave with no deal. But I'd rather do that than leave with a deal that we're going to be saying, well, what was the point? You know, because otherwise the last two years, well, it will be two years by the time next year comes around, uh, will have been a waste of time. And I think it will have all been for nothing. Um, <clears throat> another thing what amazed me, and now I'm not going to say that he shouldn't be some punished, I'm not, because that's wrong, he should be punished. Uh, Bill Cosby, um, I know he's been sentenced to 10 years in prison, I think it's 10 years anyway, for obviously sexual assault and, and all sorts of stuff like that. Now the only thing that gets on my nerves about this is a lot of people have been online to debate about, you know, uh, women coming forward and claiming it's happening to them, even though this hasn't and they've been proved it hasn't, they're ruining it for those that are genuine. But the other thing what gets me is if you've got somebody who committed a crime in their 20s, like a rape or an assault or anything like that, and then 50 years later they get tried and put in prison, what are you punishing? Because you're not punishing them. For 50 years they've lived their life and they've done whatever they wanted to do. Now all you're doing, you're sending them to prison when their life is practically over anyway. So you're not punishing them. You're not punishing them at all. They're going to go into somewhere where they're getting three square meals a day and, you know, the comforts of home sort of thing. You can't really um, rationalise punishing somebody 50 years after they've committed a crime. Yeah, they should be punished. Don't get me wrong. They should definitely be punished. I don't know how, but they should be punished. But why put them in prison? Why put them in prison after 50 years? For 50 years, they've got away with it and they've had their life. They have lived their lives. They have had loves and monies and spents and God knows what else. You know what I mean? They've done whatever they've wanted to do. And now all of a sudden, you think by putting them in prison, you're punishing them. No, I'm sorry. I don't know wash with me at all. That doesn't wash with me. And these people who are coming out 30 and 40 years later saying, oh yes, you know, I had this done to me 40 years ago. Why are you coming out now? Why 40 years later are you coming out now? Why are you saying it ruined my life 40 years ago? Don't get me wrong, I am not, not sympathising with rapists and murderers and all that kind of stuff. I'm not, you know, to me the lowest form of society. But what I'm saying is you are now going to cost taxpayers thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds or dollars wherever he's going to go and yet they are going to pay for his crimes which i just don't i don't find it fair i don't find it fair at all sorry i don't um sorry i keep leaning down by the way just <coughs> getting to try and get my breath back the other thing i saw today um a thing uh, focusing on the uk now i can't believe they've actually had to do a study to find this out children as young as 10 are becoming less healthy and less fit. Well, yes, that is bloody obvious. Sorry, pardon the language. It's obvious. You see most 10-year-olds now, and the minute they get in from school, they're on their console, or they are on their uh, tablets or phones, or watching the TV. They don't go out. They don't exercise. It's all right in blaming schools and saying, oh, schools aren't making them fit enough. But if all they're going to have is two hours a week exercise... And then the rest of the time they're going to be allowed to go on the consoles and what have you and do whatever they want. You know, I mean, I'm, I spend most of my life sitting on my bottom, pardon the expression, right? Sitting on my bum. Now, if I let myself go, I could be 20 to 25 stone. I'm not. I'm not even 15 stone. I'm about 14 stone and I'm six foot one. So when I was a child, even though I didn't, I wasn't the most mobile of kids, don't get me wrong. I wasn't the most mobile, I couldn't ride bikes or nothing like that, but we were always out. Whenever there was, you know, any decent type of weather, we were out. We were out in it, we were socialising, we were going up the golf links, we were playing football. Nowadays, if you say to a child, are you going to play football, they switch their Xbox on, contact the mate and get him switches on. I'm sorry, of course they're less fit than they used to be 16, 20 years ago. Technology is making us less fit. It's as simple as that. <coughs> you know 
I, I'm sorry, but I cannot understand how, how the, it'd take them to do a scientific study to figure this out. I, I don't get it. I mean, I've got nephews. Now, fair enough, a lot of them now are older. I mean, I've got one who's 31 and the youngest is coming up to 10. Now, one of them's got mobility problems because he's got the same thing that I've got. He's got CMT. Now, that's fair enough. He can't get out as much as he wants to. He wants to exercise but can't. But you've got kids his age, 10 years old, who have got the chance to do what he wants to do, and they don't. They basically say, now, nah, what's the point? I might as well stay in. You know, I mean, we've just had one of the hottest summers on record, right? The hottest summers. And yet, how often we went into town and we hardly saw any kids during the holidays, because they were all at home. You know, they went down on the beach. <laughs> they went down on the beach or anything like that in the sun, in the summer. They were still indoors. They were still indoors on the consoles. They were still indoors on the tablets or watching the TVs or the new Blu-rays or whatever. That's because nearly every child's bedroom now has got a console, has got a TV, has got a Blu-ray player. You know, they've got 4K Ultra HD televisions in the bedrooms, for God's sake. What, what do you think they're going to do? You know, they're not going to bother going outside, are they? They've got everything they need in the house. I don't know. I'll give up. Anyway, uh, that's my rant and rave for today. Um, I'm not doing anything for the rest of the evening, just watching more football. Like I said, I've started a new project today, writing. Um, somebody gave me the idea the other day, because um, uh, my life story is different. It's not plain sailing. It's not simple. It's not um, rich. You know, I haven't got a, had a rich upbringing. I want Bill with a silver spoon in my mouth. But my life story is interesting. And I always said one day I might put it to paper. And I've started doing that. I've already wrote seven pages. And I haven't even left school yet. So, you know, it's, 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 it's interesting. I'm enjoying doing it. And it's also taking me back. It's making me remember things I've forgotten about. It's also making me laugh and smile in different times as well. So, yeah, that's it for today. Um, I'm not doing anything else today, I don't think. Uh, like I say, just watching football. And hopefully I might be smiling tomorrow because we might beat Chelsea. Or I might be frowning tomorrow because we might lose to Chelsea. Bye for now, folks. If you're enjoying the videos I'm doing and you want to see more, uh, you can subscribe by clicking the link there. And if you want to see my exciting day from yesterday, you can click up there. Thank you again for taking the time to watch my videos. Bye for now.